right, we're continuing this small series on Mountain Farm Museum. This is the largest building in the museum area. Looks like a fire, firewood back that way. There's some wagons. There's a horse-drawn trailer back on the far, uh, far end over here. And then these are wagons, of course, to be drawn by horse. And we're going to go inside and do a quick look. I don't know if I'll be able to do any talking. But I want to at least show you. Show you what it kind of looks like in here. There's the wagons. I'm look up now. See above. Store some things. But not a whole lot. And that's what it just looks like. The wood structure of the roof roofing system I'm not sure what this piece of equipment is but it's possibly a sheller hand crank or you put a belt attached to this pulley and probably shells out things but I'm not sure I don't know what these these are I want to go down through and just look at these stalls quickly All right, so we got some hand plows. We draw with maybe a team of oxen, something, some strong animal, depending on the dirt. Ah, it's so dark in here, it's hard to see all this stuff. Now, can't really view, but there's some wagon wheels, barrel. But anyway, you got to get over here and, and check out this this farm mountain farm museum by yourself of course here's some wood looks like they make the railing for the fencing out of this type of logs it's about the length of them the railing out there here's from the far end and the upstairs again the roofing system looks fairly grand to me it's just something neat to see i'm gonna walk down this side and look in these other four stalls Walking back to the front of the building. This looks like a livestock pen and a feed trough here. And the next one, some more equipment. I'm sure all these were used for livestock at one time or another different, different livestock. This you can't see in these. They're all boarded up too close. And then these are for the... Uh, they're hanging on the wall where you hook up a team of animals. There's one at the far end, this one, and this is a smaller one here. So that's neat. There's a bench. And then here's some more equipment and some supplies. Looks like firewood. I go. The old wheelbarrow has some planks possibly for repairing a roof some firewood looks like here or whittling wood if they let it dry they might want to whittle uh, some something out here's some boards takes a long time to make a board um, back in with using hand tools and here's some a planter a seed planter there is looks like maybe a something maybe like a colder mulcher it's not as deep as a plow would cut there's a plow over here. You can see the difference. This plow is a lot bigger. Let me get on the other side and show you how big it is compared. So this is a plow. One bottom plow. And then these back here are like a cold mulcher rake. And then this is a plow. Um, or open up a furrow to put seed in. Furrow is just a groove in the ground. Here's another plow laying on its side that throws the clods to the right side, and then this plow throws the clods to the left side. That's pretty neat. It's really interesting to see that, because nowadays they'll have a 15 bottom plow. They'll have 50 of those line, 15 lined up, and they can pull it with a tractor. Oh, here's a plaque. We could zoom in on this. You can pause your video and read this right here. Bob was here. All right, well, that's 
that's part that's finished up finishing up the the oh and here's more boards up above us right here there's more boards boards were valuable they were very hard to make and very valuable to use for different different things so anyway i want to show you that that's the conclusion of the barn tour and we'll uh see what's next take care thanks